grab a quarter inch thick ply, wood numbers and a bunch of flour. I started by cutting the quarter inch thick plywood. Next, I began assembling. I glued the frame pieces on top and either sides. Then I put together the pieces for the box. The box is then attached to the backer board. I added extra weights on top to help it bond. Next, I sanded all the sides to smooth the edges and then painted the whole box. I applied attractive base colors to both sides of the sign board. While this dries, I crafted permanent vinyl stickers using a Cricut machine. Next, I added two white hooks underneath the box. I drilled holes to the sign board and attached twine to hang it on the hooks. I then installed sawtooth sort of hanger on the back of the baseboard. After that, I placed some foam inside the box and arranged colorful flowers to my liking. Next, I painted the wooden numbers black and fixed them on the box. Take two styrofoam blocks and glue them together using a cool melt glue gun. Take that wire hanger and bend it. Take two pipe cleaners and twist the ends together. Do this as well with another set of two pipe cleaners. Position the wire hanger hook on top of the styrofoam block and secure it by wrapping the pipe cleaners up and around the hook. Twist the ends securely and tuck them in. Start to stick the faux stems into the top and sides of the styrofoam block. Now take some faux flowers, continue to fill in the empty spaces with other flowers, and hang your new flower arrangement. I went to my local craft store and I found these adorable miniature watering cans. Here is the glue we're going to be using. I'm going to place a little bit on wherever the metals are touching. Now we can take our flowers and begin working them in. Now we're going to do the same thing to the second watering can. I began my project by taking my drill. I just made the watering can holes on the spout a little bit larger. I took my string of fairy lights and I push them up through the opening of the spout. You're gonna weave it back down. Out the opening again, you're gonna repeat this process. I drilled some holes in the sides just so that you could see the lights from inside the can as well. This is my flat back basket and then this is the arrangement that I have that I stick in here every spring. So I stick one command strip on the glass on my door and then the other one on the back of the basket. Grab tin cans and a napkin for this brilliant porch decor. I washed three tin cans from the recycling, removed the labels, and scuffed up the surface with a wire brush. I wiped clean with a cloth and spray painted the outside of each can with Rust-Oleum paint and primer white spray paint. While that was drying, I spray painted some metal chain black. I set that aside to dry. I used a small drill bit to drill three holes evenly spaced along the top edge of the tin can. I drilled holes in the same spots at the bottom edge and the same spots again at the very bottom of the tin can. Then I cut the napkins into smaller pieces and cut around the birds. I painted outdoor Mod Podge on the tin can, placed the napkin pieces on, and sealed it with more Mod Podge. I did this for all three tin cans, then used a nail to poke through the holes I drilled to make sure the glue didn't close them over. I let the cans dry, 24 hours is ideal. Do you have random faux flowers around your house that don't seem to go together? Start by organizing them by color and type of flower. Fill the bottom of the planter with floral foam stacked vertically next to each other. Tuck them in tightly and fill as much of the planter as possible. Once the foam is snug in the planter, Take wooden floral picks and press them into the floral foam with about an inch sticking out. Now, take more floral foam and press them on top of the floral picks so the block is secure and doesn't move. Next, create four to five bows from ribbon and floral wire. Once all the wire is secure, stick the wood pick into the side of a foam block in the planter. Now, let's add the flowers. Think in terms of color blocking so that similar flowers are placed in the planter together. Start with tall flowers in the back and then add shorter flowers in a contrasting color in front of them. Now you want to make sure that your glass bowls are very clean. So I'm going to just pull it from the edge and I'm going to take a gray Crayola crayon and I am going to draw right on my bowl. The next step is you want to take some silver glitter glue and I'm going to paint my jar with the glitter glue in a crosshatch 
pattern. I'm going to be using these out of doors, so you definitely have to use some kind of a sealer. The next thing I'm gonna do is take some fairy lights and put them right down inside of my jar. I grabbed one basket and 10 of these wooden pieces. I set to work staining them using these easy staining cloths. Once they were dry, I set up two of the wooden pieces vertically, and then I added the rest of my wooden pieces horizontally. Use some one inch nails and put those in place. I had purchased these four inch house numbers. I nailed these into place. The next thing I did to finish it up was to add some pretty flowers. I grabbed two hanging baskets and liners from Dollar Tree for this epic garden project. I unclipped the chains off of one of the baskets and placed the liners in each basket. Next I used sharp scissors to cut a slit in the middle of each section and in the center hole at the bottom. Then I grabbed some petunias from my local garden center and carefully placed them into each hole. Planting from the outside worked best for me. I set it aside and repeated the same steps for the second basket. Next, I filled the center of each basket with potting soil and watered it. I gently placed one basket on top of the other and secured them together using four black zip ties. At that point, I decided to add in a few more flowers on the edge where the baskets meet I'm just going to start working on adding these flowers. I'm going to add some hot glue. and just going to work those all out like that. I'm going to go with the next one. And I'm going to go around. I'm going to get my wire cutters and cut some of these apart. And then I'm going to try and put it right where I want it. And I'm just going to try and wire right in the base. Cut these ends. I'm going to turn this back over and do the same thing on the other side of the nest. There are hooks on our little birds. 